Satan disobeyed Allah only once and he was accursed. Allah forgives human beings in spite of their disobedience, frequent disobedience, if they repent. Will Allah forgive Iblis if he repents today? If you read the Quran, the story of Adam salam and Iblis is mentioned several times in the Quran. In Surah Baqarah chapter 2, Surah Araf chapter number 7, Surah Hijrah chapter number 15, Surah Qahaf chapter number 18, several places. And if you realize in the story, the moment Adam alayhi salam, Adam peace be upon him, he realized his mistake, he repented Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah immediately forgave him. And if both of them, may Allah be pleased with them all. But if you note the story of Iblis, it's mentioned in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 14. When Iblis disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says that we said to the angels, bow down to Adam. All bow down, illa Iblis, except Iblis. Mentioned Surah Baqarah chapter 2, Surah Araf chapter 7. But instead of repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Iblis says in Surah Araf chapter 7, verse 14, that give me respite till the day they are raised up. That means respite means, please delay my punishment. Give me respite and see what I do. He challenges Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That I challenge you. So Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 18, He gives them respite and says that all those women who follow you, I will fill hell with all of you. And as far as Iblis repenting, here the question doesn't come because Allah further says in Surah Hijr, chapter 15, verse 34, that He is the accursed one. That Allah has the knowledge of the future, of the unseen. So Allah knows in advance that this person, he will never repent. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 7 and 8, Allah says, Khatam Allah that Allah has put a seal on the hearts of those people, on those kafirs, and they will never come to the straight path. And similarly, we have examples of Allah predicts, even about Abu Lahab, that he was one of the staunchest enemies of the beloved Prophet. Allah tells in advance, He reveals the surah, Tabbit Abi Lahabi Watab, the father of the flame. He was one of the staunchest enemies to the Prophet. And he says that he will never accept Islam and he will burn in hell. It was a prediction. All he had to do to prove the Quran wrong was to say that I am Muslim and say the Shahada. Ten years he had the opportunity, he did not do it. So Allah knew they will never repent. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that he believes he will never repent. So that is the reason he has said that he is to you an avowed enemy. Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 168 that, Ya O oh, you believe, be careful of the khutwa to shaitan, of the footsteps of the devil, for he to you is an avowed enemy. So with all the verses of the Quran, we realize that Iblis will never repent, and Allah knows that, therefore he is called, he is the avowed enemy of the human being, and he is accursed. So he will never repent, he will never ask for forgiveness.